At this point, we have now installed the Webmin uh, interface on our server. So now we can control our server via a web browser. And as I have here open on the screen, I have Firefox. And you can use Internet Explorer, you can use Firefox. Safari, I have found, um, has some limited capabilities. Though you can log in through Safari, it may be better to stick with Firefox or Internet Explorer at this point. Internet Explorer, of course, if you're on uh, Vista or XP, the old version of Internet Explorer, which is no longer supported for Mac, I do not recommend at all. So, in order to get to the server, we need to, again, know our IP address. Again, if we're doing this remotely, if we're at the machine, you can just type in HTTPS colon slash slash localhost and then include port 10,000 and that will get you onto the webmin GUI. So, but we are doing this remotely, so I'm going to do HTTPS colon slash slash 172.17.2554.2 port. So I put a colon after I do all that and then 10,000. And we are now at the webmin login screen. And the username and password is the same username and password that you set up initially when you first signed on or installed your Linux operating system. And so we are going to use that. So I have admin, my password. And I'll log in, ask if I want to remember. I'm going to say not right now. Yours may or may not do that. And now, as you can see, we are in the Webman interface. It's very uh, uh, simple interface, not a whole lot to it. Uh, we do see what operating system we are running. Right now, I'm running Ubuntu Linux 6.06.1. My Webman version is here. Time on server, CPU loads, how much memory, virtual memory, and disk space is used up. And uh, so what we can see over here in our interface is uh, things you can do with Webmin itself. And these trees collapse. Things about the system, things you can set up. Various server services you can run here. Now, not all of these are installed. Don't get excited. But in a basic Linux install, you can get most of these running. Um, so, and then there's networking. If you wanted to change any of the networking features of the machine, you can do that here. If you wanted to get some hardware information about the machine, you could do that here. Or set up some hardware, such as if you wanted to set up a RAID. If you wanted to cluster your servers together, you can do that all through here. And others are some other services. We will be using the uh, we can use the SSH, we can use the file manager in here, and we will use those to install actually Moodle. Um, so this again is an overview of of Webmin. If uh, you are not able to get to this point, I would recommend checking your uh, making sure you have the right internet address up here. And if you're not remembering how to find out what your IP address is on your server, we have our terminal down here and I'm already on my server here again you would want to do this locally if you don't know your IP address and the command to find out what your IP address says is if config no need to do a sudo command here to find out this information and let me expand this out and right in here is the IP address for this one. Now down here you'll notice, or actually let's start up here, it does say that this is the Ethernet connection. Now you may see Ethernet 0 or Ethernet 1 in some cases, and if you look down here, you will see that there's another connection down here called Local Loopback. And Local Loopback is uh, a system that's set up to just make sure that networking features are running at all. So if you did not have loopback running at all, that means your network services are not running at all. And that, in that case, you would want to turn on your networking services. So.